anyway, on that note... Hi guys, it's a gloriously hot day and I'll take you around Carshawn All Saints Church, a very ancient church on a very ancient plot of land. The old fire engine used to come out from. <laughs> now the Boulogne family have a lot to do with this area. Like Anne Boleyn's well, people think it's associated with Anne Boleyn and Henry VIII. It's not. It's much, much earlier than that. One of our natural springs in the area. A lot of natural springs here. They reckon there's been a site here since probably Neolithic times. We're up on a hill, right by a water source. Really interesting. I do apologise if I'm sort of repeating myself. I have done this walk on other videos. Um, but I thought such a nice day. We don't want to go far. Let's get out and explore. Lovely old door. 1700s probably. A little bit of trivia where these houses are now. It used to be a manor house. It's here for a couple of hundred years until it was knocked down, I think in the early 20th century. Such a shame. This is Church Hill. Church Hill, huh. including the title. Let's have a look around the grounds. Bird song's very prominent. I keep going on a bit. used to vlogging these days. Wander around the churchyard. So I'm not religious whatsoever. I'm fascinated by old churches and churchyards and the history that they have here. So Carshorton's a very very old town used to be called Alton. We settled for thousands of years. Modern car Shorten from about, probably about 1200 years ago. There's Saxon remains around. Yeah. Even just a short distance from the road. And you can't hear anything really nice. You can hear the bird song, as I said before, very, very loudly. <laughs> Sprung. I wonder how old this wall is. I don't think it's that old, but you never tell walls. Well, you can, but if you're an expert. Love this old cottage. Is it the rector's cottage? Absolutely gorgeous. This stone was laid to the glory of God October the 3rd, 1891. Well, that was fascinating. <laughs> I just got spotted uh, by a gentleman called Trevor. Now, a couple of years ago, I do uh, did a video with uh, Richard Vogue, my friend Richard Vogue, the Bald Explorer, in Carshorton. 
and he commented in that video i'll link it below uh not, not in any malice that the amberlin's well was actually in a bit of disrepair and overgrown and looking a bit crap so, and this is amberlin's well amberlin's well oh, oh it does actually well. say here look amberlin's well i have to say this is <laughs> rather despicable, isn't it? So what, what the, tell me about the well, because what we're looking at to me is a mess. So I don't understand, if it's been fenced off, it looks like it's supposed to be uh, important, but it just looks a mess. So this gentleman I've been talking called Trevor, flower bombed it on the back of that video and redid the whole thing, planted new bulbs and it looks beautiful. And he did it by watching Richard's video. And you've seen my videos as well, his wife has. So that is really, really cool. Thank you, thank you very much, Trevor, for doing that. So, uh, Richard, see, heritage does work when you mention it. So I just wanted to mention that. That's a really amazing story. Thank you, thank you, Trevor. Anyway, on that note, if you've liked this video, please like and subscribe. Please leave a comment below if you know any, uh, any more history of the area. It's been fascinating. And we'll see you next time. Take care.